Hello and welcome to another video. I'm going to show you how to filter on measures, right? So I've done a video already on filtering with dimensions, right? In which case, if I do that, it just lets me choose it. But filtering on numbers works a little bit differently. So let's say I get sales. I'll grab that. Let's put it onto filters. Okay. And you'll come up with this menu. And basically what happens is it's going to filter based on a certain type of aggregation. And aggregation is really just a fancy word for like summation or averaging or median. Anytime where it's like collecting information or like combining, not combining, but like putting it together, right? That's kind of considered aggregation. So let's say I'm going to go all values, right? I can set it so that show me values that only go up to, let's say 4,000, only show me those. Right, so you can do a range. I can say only show me values at least 4,000 or higher. Okay, or the other way, at most 5,000. Or you can do some sort of special filtering, which is only show me like values uh, where it's non null, which means there is a result, or show me the ones where it's just null value. So, as in, there's no entry. Okay, so usually I use this one, it gives me the most kind of control, but again, it always depends on what you want to do. So, let's say I have these results here okay and these are really split up you know if I expand this right and you go all the way to the individual value of that row it comes down to a pretty granular level so let's say I want to I'm only interested in the items that make really high sales okay so let me just get rid of this okay so we got our grouping here I'm only interested in the items that make a lot of money so let's bring this sales into filters I'm going to go sum this time right because that's the aggregation I'm going to be using and I want it so that I want items that are you know let's say 50% or so we we'll go around half 200,000 pounds or higher so I'm gonna go okay and that's gonna filter for me so it works a little bit differently from the dimensions but because you can kind of just set it and it's like really just simple to control it's it's not too much more in terms of learning okay and that's it so i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time